Hi Felters and Crofters, so here we are, I get up about 6.30, sometimes a little bit earlier, um, quickly make the bed, then go downstairs. At the moment it's Christmas, so put the Christmas lights on. Puppies are down there, my husband's already down, so they're out and having fun, have a cup of tea. I like to go and have a sit down with a cup of tea and um, puppies like to come over and have a early morning cuddle, so Gracie just follows me over there. And then I'll have some breakfast and after breakfast I'll pop up, turn everything on in my office. The laptop is really old so it takes ages to turn on. Uh, turn some of the lights on so because it's still dark outside at the moment so it makes it quite cosy in the morning. Now those are my bits uh, that I've been felting. I had to do a Covid test today because um, my husband's colleague has Covid so we're just checking. Then about 8 o'clock take the dogs out for a walk. This is Gracie, um, this is Safi and Bella and luckily the weather is nice today and then I feed the dogs when I get back <laughs> um, so this is about 9, about 8.45, 9 hopefully they settle down um, and they have a little sleep do the washing, put that on and then upstairs light the candle and ready for the day so there we go, so that is how my morning roughly goes. Sometimes it's slightly different order. Sometimes I get to come in here for an hour before I take the dogs out. Um, sometimes I drive my son down to college. I'm driving him later today. So this is, you know, why I say this is fantastic way to earn money because of the way it fits around your lifestyle. I'm now ready to sit down for a bit. Um, so I am, at, oh, so yeah, welcome to this day in the life of I just thought I'd show it all and it's a bit weird because I'm, yes I am a needle felter and a crafter but I'm also a YouTuber so those two have to combine all the time so it's not just the day in the life of a crafter, it's the day in the life of um, a YouTuber as well. So sorry if I look a mess but that's how I look on a day to day basis. Um, so at the moment I'm filming a video for Heidi Feathers, I have a uh, got to I'm going through their starter kit and um, I've got to do an intro and an outro so when I do those things for the video I um, sort of have to look semi-decent so I will make sure I look uh, go and do my hair and makeup in a minute but also um, I filmed most of the video I've got to do a voiceover for it which is quite hard for me to show you because I record it on this phone so but I will show you some of the video itself um, so that is the main targets for today is to complete that video I don't know if I'll get it completely done and I've just been need <coughs> needle felting another little Highland cow um, just because I'm trying to get my examples up for when I go to um, I've got a sort of an open day with Claire's Crafts Creates and I'm going to be able to show some of the things that I make there to people so um, I have to obviously have examples of my courses and my YouTube videos um so that's what i'm going to get started with i always have a to-do list and my to-do list is <laughs> it's got loads of stuff on it it's got loads of stuff on it at the moment um not all of it is so like that was just uh, i was watching a video and they had some really good comments so yeah so i've got plenty to do always to keep me busy so let's get started i might go and tidy myself up and then or i might just do a tiny bit of felting first I then got to go and give my daughter Emily something to work on because I teach her. I home educate her for those that don't know and it wasn't a choice that, you know, I, I really like schools. I'm not anti-schools. My son's uh, went through school and now he's at college, but it's just she got really bad migraines. So I ended up um, having to home educate her from the age of 12 and we're working towards English GCSE a year early and maths and then biology, geography and a couple of others and she does art so it's kind of all right we're, we're, we're okay with it and she probably wants to go to an animal care college so um but yeah so I have to incorporate that into the day as well so yeah it keeps me busy but first up before I start any of the video I always go uh, to my laptop and I will be doing any queries from Patreon um, I will check over my YouTube video comments. I really, really like to respond to all my comments. So I will get those done first and then I will get on with my work. So I've just gone on to my channel. I do do this on my phone and answer all the comments there really, but I couldn't show you. 
but um, I normally get about or oh, um, at least 10 comments a day that I have to reply to most of them are really easy to reply but some take a little bit longer they might be asking for where do you get your eyes how do you do this um, and then so I sort of have to reply a little it takes a little bit longer it's not as easy uh, someone asked recently about copyright and how do I deal with that and worrying about people copying my stuff so that takes a while to answer if I'm answering the same question an awful lot then that's going to be a case for a video really because I always got asked about my eyes so I did a video on eyes in the end because it, and then uh, starter kits so that's why I do videos on starter kits to help people choose the right one when they first start ones that I recommend um, so this is just my general ana analytics just sort of um, something I sort of have a look at every couple of days not that often but it's good to know how things are going how my views views are up at the moment subscribers are up at the moment money is up at the moment too um but yeah so i sort of these are sort of some of the things i'll check through uh during the day and also i have to reply instagram some people dm me on there so um and then etsy shop i get messages too so those are the kind of bits of paperwork things i do um in the morning so i've done all that i haven't actually got onto anything to do with the video it's actually 10 o'clock already so i better go down and uh set some work and just i'd like to sit beside emily while she does some of her work just to make sure she's okay i'll probably take my highland cow down to felt at the same time <laughs> So there we go, um, that was the intro and the outro. I'll show you some clips of how it went wrong. It, it, I mean, just a little, a minute piece. I don't script it or anything like that. I try and say essential things that I need to say. And, and if I just practice it a couple of times, but I do do a lot of wrong takes all the time. Um, so I'll put in some funny ones as well, but um, I've just got to now video all the pieces that I've made and video them sort of um, in nice shots so that they look good. Then I can compile that video and put it all together. And I made just a little bit more on my cow head whilst I was sitting doing maths and I've started on the horns. So I'm trying to do all those bits. If if I can't do the videoing, then I'll be felting. So, And I can only video when the daylight is really good because I just don't think the quality of the video is that good so um, a lot of the time if I'm up early I'll do a little bit of felting and if it's late at night I'll do felting so right let's go and video the pieces all their needles and all their starter kits and I always recommend them and that's just rubbish there we go so thank you so much Heidi Feathers I will link her in uh, her it's not a her it's a shop thank you uh no um I ran out of things to say. No. So that question has been answered. What is the best starter kit? This is what I think is one of the best starter kits on the market today. So all this little lot were videoed next door and because um, I do it in my lounge, there's a much better setting. I am talking about this um, Heidi Feathers kit. Um, it's an eco-friendly kit. It's one of the best ones on the market, I believe. So um, that's what the video is that I'm doing so I will put the whole video together and then I will send it to Heidi Feathers and she can approve it so hopefully she likes it but I made all these <laughs> items from this one kit this one was sorry I've got a breadstick <laughs> this one was from the instructions um, in there and the rest I sort of made up myself although she has instructions for five other things in her booklet but look I made a little highland cow a little mushroom a little sheep a little gnome oh he's got a beard I made an awful cat at the back there, but we won't look at that. And then a couple of other bits and bobs. Oh, and a hedgehog. He's quite sweet. There we go. So all the individual pieces for the video are now done and I'm going to put it all together. And then I'll do voiceovers because I can do voiceovers at night. So that's not a problem. It, the more important bit is getting all the video stuff done. So um, I'll, I'll put that all together. It's 11.40 and... So I'm probably going to have lunch at 12 and about 12.30 I take my son to college, which is takes us about an hour and then come back and then I'll do English with Emily in the afternoon and um, get back to doing some more felting. So I quickly squeeze in hanging the washing out. I don't know about anyone else, but I live in leggings all the time. I love this brand, just strong. They are so 
comfy I could be in leggings for the rest of my life uh, so quickly do the washing have lunch um, this is some of Emily's artwork which is why it works quite well with homeschooling she gets time to do her art and develop it so um, she's really really good she loves drawing dogs in particular but this is one of her tigers she's done recently and that's a little Christmas dog. So before we go, I've got to quickly play with the puppies and entertain them a bit because we can't leave them for an hour and a half um, without entertaining them for a short while. So we just throw some toys around upstairs. They have a bit of fun and then they're tired, hopefully. And we can pop out and take James to college. So I'm just back from taking my son to college and it's uh, quarter past two. Just gonna get a cup of tea and edit for an hour. So here I am out walking Gracie, you good girl. Yeah, because um, she has to go on her own at the moment because she barks at everybody. But we've got a lovely view out there. There we go. <laughs> I never video whilst out. Um, but yeah, so taking Gracie out. So I've edited the video and the problem was that um, I did the voiceover and I wasn't happy with it so I've deleted it I missed out a few key things because it's quite hard trying to remember everything even though I write stuff down in front of me but I'll do that as soon as I get back so it's half four I've just managed to redo the voiceover I really wasn't happy with it um, there was just lots of little details like I said that I had to get in I used this really simple microphone attached to my phone and I just have it quite close to me and it gets really good um, quality uh, taping when I'm doing voiceovers so it comes out really really clear so I'm just going to email Heidi Feathers because I've got to send the footage to her for her to approve it and then I'm going to do an order for World of Wool because uh, I need to get my wool order in before the last posting date for Christmas because I don't want to because I hopefully have lots of time over Christmas because I won't be teaching Emily so much she does get two weeks off over Christmas because my son does as well um, and I, I want to be able to do lots of felting basically so um, whilst I've been doing this and walking Gracie Emily has been doing a commission that she's got so she's like I showed you her artwork earlier so if she's in the mood to do artwork I let her do her artwork um, she does a couple of commissions uh, for friends we don't let her do too many but she's actually doing really well out of it so um, we did maths and English this morning, so I'm quite happy with her work so far today. So I'll just get on and do these emails. Just as I go to do these emails, it's probably interesting to note today's work volume is at about two and a half, three hours, of which half an hour of that has been actually felting. Um, but I've got to do dinner after I've done these emails and this order, and then I will come back to felting and do a couple more hours of actual felting later on tonight. It is half seven, we've had dinner, I've come back up. Um, as I, I hoped I would get straight down to felting, but then I have um, put, so all the videos I store in my phone, I have to put onto my hard drive to clear out the um, memory on my phone, because otherwise my phone gets really clogged up. So I have everything saved on one hard drive and saved in YouTube. So hopefully that is as safe as it can be if YouTube was to disappear overnight. God forbid, let's hope not. Right, so I'm going to do some felting now. Here he is, he's um, nearly finished. I need to do his tail, but I'm quite happy with him. Um, he'll go up on my little shelf. Um, you guys all know this one if you watch me. Um, there's a tutorial on him. So that's it for the day. And 
-hmm. I was going to lie and say it's about eight o'clock. I try to finish by about eight. Doesn't happen that way most nights. So it's 8.30 and most of my work is done. Uh, the only thing I do do is because I have a Patreon, we have a Discord group and sometimes I don't get a chance to look at it during the day. So I get into bed and I look at it then because I have the time, basically. And um, maybe I shouldn't do that because it's considered work, but I consider all the patrons to be my friends. So it's kind of like talking to my friends. So I don't consider it to be work um, unless they're asking like specific work based questions. Um, and then I'll sort of answer them the next day if I'm a bit tired. So. I hope you have enjoyed it because this pretty much is a true reflection of what it's like most days for me and to be honest I don't really take a day off and someone made a comment recently saying we really enjoy your studio vlogs but please 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 do take time off and don't get burnout and I think burnout is quite a real thing sometimes um, there's times when I do feel really tired but then there's so much I want to do as well. And you kind of have that confliction at the same time. So I kind of try and just take a little bit of, of a break when I feel that. And it's all self-inflicted because you can, I can take a break. Um, and I did end up having a break on my channel recently where the, a video didn't go up. So I'm going to think about maybe having a, an odd break every now and again. But I've got loads of videos that are planned, loads of videos ready as well. So I feel really organized for my channel if you did enjoy it and you want to know a little bit more about the business i'll put the vlog up on the screen now and do subscribe because i've got like i said so many videos planned for the future um and i'm really enjoying it that's the overall factor that i enjoy it so i hope you all really enjoy your felting thank you so much for watching and for spending the day with me and take care